Let's denote the left hand side of the given inequality by fx. So fx is equal to x square minus modulus of x plus 2 plus x. Now when x plus 2 is positive or x is greater than minus 2, then modulus of x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2. And therefore fx is equal to x square minus x plus 2 plus x in this case. Similarly, when x is less than minus 2, modulus of x plus 2 is equal to minus x plus 2. And therefore fx is equal to x square plus x plus 2 plus x in this case. In the first case, fx simplifies to x minus root 2 times x plus root 2. In the second case, fx simplifies to x plus 1 whole square plus 1. Therefore, fx is greater than 0, which is the given inequality, implies that x minus root 2 times x plus root 2 is positive when x is greater than minus 2. And x plus 1 whole square plus 1 is greater than 0 in the second case. First case implies that x is greater than root 2 or x is less than minus root 2. And in the second case, the expression for fx is positive for all values of x. Because x plus 1 whole square is a positive number. Now if you plot this information on the number line, the relevant points are minus 2, minus root 2, plus root 2. In the second case, when x is less than minus 2, we've determined that fx is always positive. And in the first case, when x is greater than minus 2, we have determined that fx is positive when x is less than minus root 2. And fx is positive when x is greater than root 2. Therefore, fx is positive when x is in the interval minus infinity to minus root 2 or when x is greater than root 2. And this is the required answer.